Hi, it's Meg here. So, um, it's summertime. I live in Florida. I'm thinking I want a little bit of a change, so I decided I'd go through a little transformation. Hair transformation, that is. So, join me as I go from this to this. Stay tuned, you guys. Before I get started with my actual transformation, I wanted to make sure that my hair was cleaned and hydrated. So what I did was I just washed my hair with my Proclaim Shea Butter Moisturizing Shampoo. It smells like candy. And then I followed it up with my Proclaim Argan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. I'm probably going to leave this in for either the 5 recommended minutes or... 10 minutes and I'm just going to probably detangle a wig or prep my workstation while I wait and then we'll get back to business. Alright, so I just washed the mask out of my hair. I think I left it in for like a total of like 20 minutes. So I'm happy and I dry my hair with a t-shirt. Um, I try not to use uh, actual towel because you can feel it snagging and that causes all that breakage and tangling and I found that this is a lot easier that my hair ends up getting a lot drier a lot quicker so yeah um hope I washed all the product out but yeah I'm now gonna let this dry and yeah I'm gonna let this dry a little bit longer and then I'm going to go into phase two of this transformation all right so i decided i'm gonna actually eat before i do anything else to my hair so i'm gonna go check on my food now and eat because my stomach is starting to make me a little loopy so yeah let's go eat While I fill up my little pendant, I'm enjoying the rest of my coffee and my wedding gift from my best friend. I thought this was so cute. May this day symbolize happiness always. So, yeah. just got my food I'm fucking starving with my pizza rolls because I'm simple and I did not feel like making a real meal although I have leftover spaghetti I made for dinner last night and some water us Floridians love Zephyr Hills so I'm gonna eat that and then we'll get back to this hair okay so my hair is now towel dried a little nest and I have prepped my area I've taken out my Kiss Quick Cover semi-permanent dye. Put it in this ion pot, whatever you want to call it. I just call it a dye bowl. I call it a hair dye bowl or a product bowl. And I've got my little matching brush and now I'm going to apply this to my hair. By the way, this is the color Darkest Brown. It's two. I got that intentionally because of uh, another stage or another phase in my summer transformation but um that's for another video so yeah it's time to go ahead and apply this shit's naive a plastic everywhere because i don't have like plastic wrap and i'm not trying to get my little faucet area dirty and i already have conditioner everywhere for me trying to detangle my wig so yeah I'm trying to keep all of this in one area Alright, 
putting my gloves on, getting to business. I actually get really excited when I dye my hair. And I'm gonna start off by dyeing the outer perimeter of my hair just so I can make sure all of that's even first. I have a big phobia of the back of my hair having some blonde in it, looking nowhere near the same color as the front of my hair. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll continue on and get the middle done. Now I'm parting through the front and some sections in the back just randomly going through whatever part of my hair I feel like it. But what my main objective is is to split through all the areas that I have dye in already and make sure that I eliminate all that blonde, making sure all of my hair has been dramatically drenched, like dramatically drenched with this stuff. Because it's a semi-permanent dye and I really feel like it's not going to penetrate into my hair as much as I think it's going to so I'm gonna just make sure that there's so much dye everywhere that my hair doesn't know what else to do other than go brown and I might keep this in a little bit longer than the recommended 25 minutes. So there were a few times while I was dyeing my hair that I would look up in the mirror and I couldn't really grasp that my hair was brown or in this stage like a really really dark dark brown black but I just couldn't grasp it my hair has been blonde for a while and I'm so used to that color I will even get my hair as far as my hair extensions I'd get them the same color as my hair so all I know is blonde and I've just found it so funny that I couldn't really get the idea of my hair being black or being brown while I, while I was looking in the mirror. It looks healthier and I love it already. It's just so funny that I'm looking at myself like, is that a wig? What's, what's on your head that doesn't look real?
it was around this time that I started debating on leaving a patch or like a streak of my hair blonde and just finishing off the rest with the brown but my roots are uh, very 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 uh, grown out it's not a lot of blonde anywhere near my roots so I thought that would be a ridiculous idea and I opted out of course I just really don't know how long I'm gonna keep this hair this color I really think I'm gonna miss my blonde And I'm done with the overall application. I'm just going through to make sure that there's no blonde peeking out anywhere and any little crevices that I may have missed. Now time for my dreads. I have four dreads in the back and they're the same brownish blondish color as my hair was. So I'm gonna make sure I take care of those too. And it's time for me to wrap my hair now that I'm done. I really don't want this dye to get anywhere, so what I'm using to wrap it up is two plastic bags. This is a brown dye that's gonna get everywhere and I really wanna make sure that it does not seep onto my shoulders. It's already on my arm, so when I was applying it on my hair, so we're just trying to make sure we contain this as much as possible at this point. Alright, I washed up. Now I'm gonna wait 25 minutes and then I'll hop in the shower to rinse this dye out of my hair. Okay, I am fresh out of the shower and there is my dark brown hair. The light is hitting it so some areas to me still look like they're pretty blonde. But, I like it. I got dark hair now, it feels so weird, but I like it. And yeah, I'm gonna go get dressed. <laughs> How about that? I'm gonna go get dressed. So I have just finished letting my hair dry a little bit, like towel, t-shirt, t-shirt towel dry. And I just finished up with my Shea Butter Leave-In Moisturizer. It's also by Proclaim. I actually, when I rinsed out the the semi-permanent dye, I also ended up making sure that my hair was moisturized more with my Shea Butter Moisturizing Conditioner. I have the whole Shea Butter family of products from Coat Claim and I love them. They all smell so good, like, it smells like candy. That kind of smells like alcoholic candy, but hey, I like it still. But yeah, this is it. The closer I get to the light, you can see it's like a brown. like a brown over there still looks a little bit blonde but it's brown that's just the light hitting it um, what about my leave-in moisturizer i just did like a simple little style because i'm not really going anywhere it's just a simple day of me in the house just doing some hair care until I get ready for phase two tomorrow hopefully i can uh, make sure that it gets posted right after this so you guys can see what I ended up doing for phase two. But yeah, 
thanks for hanging out with me while I took care of my hair and transformed a bit. I haven't had dark hair for a minute, so I really like it. I feel like I look older, but I feel like I look younger at the same time, but I like that my hair looks healthier. Like, it doesn't feel too much healthier. I feel like I need to keep it moisturized, so that's what I'm gonna do, but I like that it already looks healthier. So. Thank you guys for tuning in with me while I vlogged my hair adventure. Please subscribe to my channel and wait for new content, especially the video for phase two of my transformation coming soon. If you like this video, please thumbs it up and leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for future vlogs or any other type of video that you'd like me to post. And thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting me. I love your faces.